Hello, my name is Ray Franklin. I'm the Senior Commodity Analyst for Energy Professionals. Today's video is a summary of my March 25th energy update, which I will explain why active natural gas rigs at the lowest level since January 2022 is further evidence prices will likely be much higher long term. I focus on natural gas because it's the largest source of power for the generation of electricity. Therefore, their pricing is highly correlated. In our March 11th energy update, as you can see in this chart, we pointed out that since 2000, when natural gas declined below the cost of production, the average price was always higher long term. We explained when natural gas was below the cost of production, producers would respond by making strategic decisions to curtail production to support higher prices in the future, which we pointed out in our March 11th energy update is precisely what large producers like EQT and Chesapeake Energy are doing at this time. Last Friday, Baker Hughes reported in its closely followed report that America's energy firms last week cut the number of active natural gas rigs to the lowest level since January 2022. Active natural gas rigs have declined 31% from this time last year going from 162 active rigs to 112 active rigs. The question is, how did natural gas prices respond in January 2022 when America's active natural gas rigs were as low as they are today? As you can see in this chart, in January 2022, natural gas prices moved sharply higher when active rigs were as low as they are today. Past performance does not guarantee future results, but the takeaway is this year, with natural gas near the lowest prices since 2000, the conditions supporting a major bottom are in place. And although prices could go slightly lower in the near term, based on past history, the average price of natural gas will likely be much higher long term. Therefore, if your present energy agreements expire in 2024 or 2025, we recommend you take advantage of this year's historically extremely low prices and reserve energy to be available when your present agreements expire. We believe the average price will be higher long term, and the upside risk is much greater than the downside potential of waiting hoping for slightly lower prices. We realize not every client's risk tolerance and hedging strategy are the same, but hopefully today's report helps put into perspective your risk reward opportunities. And we invite you to call one of our energy analysts to plan a hedging strategy that would be appropriate for your situation. And until my next report, please take care.